All right, Big Germs Garage here doing a little walk around on my uh, new project I picked up last night. Um, the previous video that I did share this one in the uh, Omaha over there. Um, I just purchased them off Craigslist. Um, it was kind of late on a Sunday night and they were in my back of my truck. So I'm just going to walk around and talk about it a little bit so you can get a better view. Um, it's missing most of the stuff up front. Um, the gauges, it's missing the headlight, turn signals. Um, and a lot of these wires have been mess with one reason is a uh, looks like the original switch here they cut I don't know if it was bad or if they were trying to bypass that switch or something um, this uh, Suzuki from what I can tell it does have a clutch switch and a side stand switch which needs to uh, be triggered I guess to get it to start or at least maybe the clutch switch needs to be done um, but they got this other controls here and that I don't know if that control was bad and they were trying to put this one on there but they got the wires all pulled out for it. So I got the wiring diagram. I got to figure that out. Um, the tank is a little rusty on the inside, but I'm going to try to clean that out with some uh, cider vinegar. Um, the motor, oh, for the most part, is nice and clean. Um, we put a battery on it last night and it did turn over. Um, didn't attempt to start, but the motor isn't locked up almost. No Kickstarter, so I wasn't able to tell when I went and purchased it. Um, so I've kind of taken a gamble. But we put a battery on the relay last night and got it to uh, turn over. So we, I know the engine's not locked up. Um, one thing that did worry me a little bit is uh, last night I put it in gear and tried rolling it. Um, and it just rolled freely with no uh, resistance. And, you know, the piston didn't move when it was in gear while I was rolling it. And um, what I can see is maybe a cause is the clutch cable is stretched out. And the arm here is pulled forward so in a little bit I'm gonna try to move this back hopefully that's um hopefully that's just the uh, the issue is that the clutch is engaged um, and that's why it's uh, it rolls so easy but um anyway looking at the motor not a whole lot of rust on the motor the exhaust header's got a little bit of a rust there um, the shock I was kind of surprised to see on eBay last night somebody sold a shock from this thing for 180 bucks um, this one does have a little bit of rust on it, and I think it needs to be adjusted a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try to adjust that later on to see what I can get a little bit more firmness out of it. Um, the seat, a little torn up, but it's not too not too bad. Um, CDI box, rectifier, and stuff. Uh, the fenders aren't damaged or anything. Um, the tail light is broken a little bit. Um, the last thing, this, the sticker on the front said this thing was on the road last in 98. Um, so it's been a while since it was on the road. Uh, the battery there is, I'm sure is no good. Maybe I'll, I'll try to charge it to see if I can get a little bit of a juice out of it. Uh, it seems like I all I'll do is collect dead batteries. I mean, no, I know it's a little, it looks wet. No, I didn't wash it. It's been raining. Um, so I wasn't trying to make it look better. Um, that little screen over the sprocket is kind of weird. I don't know if that was uh, meant to be there or if something's missing and somebody just put that screen behind there. But um, that was kind of odd looking. But um, like I said, this, this motor looks pretty good. Um, I was kind of surprised. Um, once again, I got a cluster of uh, wires pulled out all over the place here. Um, so I got to go through and figure out exactly what this... I'm sure a lot of stuff isn't needed. It's probably for turn signals and brake light and all that kind of stuff. But... um. I'll have to go through and figure that out. Um, the brakes, front brakes work and rear brakes work. Like I said, it is a uh, 08, I mean 98. So it's been been a while since it's been on the road. But that's pretty much it for the uh, DR250 Suzuki. Um, thanks for watching Big Drums Garage uh, tonight. What I'm going to probably do is I'm going to try to uh, look at the wiring diagram that I've got and see if I can get this thing, get some spark, and see if I can get it to maybe uh, do something. Um, if I can get spark, then I'll probably go ahead and pull the carburetor off. Or maybe I'll go ahead and pull it off anyway, at least clean it so it's ready in case I can get spark to work. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, just a quick update on the, the bike I kind of showed a little bit of last night but it was hard to see because it was dark and it was in the back of my truck. Uh, stay tuned for uh, further updates. Thank you.